One of the questions that I'm frequently asked on the channel is what saddles do I use on my bikes? My normal response is, well, I just use the saddles that came with them. And usually that's all fine and dandy, but over the last couple of weeks or so, I have been having some issues with things like saddle saws, and that may well be down to an incorrect saddle fit. So today I'm on the lookout for the perfect saddle. As you can imagine, I've been rooting around online doing various research into the saddle companies, and this has brought me to a brand called Cell Italia. Now I have heard of Cell Italia before, but what I didn't know was that they've been making saddles in Italy since 1897, and they're the trusted brand of a couple of professional cyclists. So people like Caleb Ewan and Matteo van der Poel. And I figured that if it's good enough for their asses, well then it's got to be more than good enough for my ass. And the good thing is that they have this ID match system, which basically measures you up for your perfect saddle. And this service is completely free uh, and you can find it in various uh, local bike shops. And it just so happens that my nearest center is only about 10 kilometers down the road. So I'm off down there right now to be fitted up for the perfect saddle. I phoned ahead to let them know that I was coming and when I told them that I'd like to do some filming as well they were kind enough to offer that I could come in after the store had closed and this made life so much easier particularly at the moment. So here I am down at my local bike shop uh, Cycle World in Portsmouth and I'm here with Oz and we're going to do the Cell Italia ID match. So Oz, what do we do? Cell Italia uh, ID match system um, is about getting rid of some of the misconceptions, some of the grey area about saddle fits. There's lots of people out there on saddles that they're finding really uncomfortable. An old traditional way was take a saddle and see if it works. It gets expensive and you don't always know what you're going to get out of it. So Cell Italia have come up with the ID match system. So a little bit of gadgetry involved, technology involved in everything these days. It's a very, very quick uh, process. This will give me a set of data that we can then transpose and select an ideal saddle for you. Brilliant. Which will then culminate into you having a nice, easy ride for you. Fantastic. So we want to do that now? <laughs> yeah, let's do no that. No problem let's at all. Okay. First of all, so nice and, nice and simple. I'll turn my little machine on here. We're just going to put in your gender, which I'm going to assume that is male. Yeah, male. No problem at all. Let's wait for this to boot up like everything. There you go. So, male. First bit we're going to do, so we're going to take a measurement of your hips then both your legs, and then we're gonna work out an angle. It's really, really simple to do, and it'll take seconds. Fantastic. So first of all, we've got your uh, your gender in. We're gonna measure your hips. Nothing in your pockets? No, no. no. So I'm gonna measure it on the widest point of your hips here. It's gonna be quite wide. Yeah. So that's gone blue, indicates that it's taken that measurement. Now it's gonna ask me for your right hand thigh uh, measurement. Okay. So very, very simple. Nothing in your pockets there, Paul? No. I'll try not to get too personal here. <laughs> So that's now taken that one, and now it wants a left. Pop that in. There's your left thigh. That's that done. Last bit of measurement we've gone is just your angle of it. So get comfortable, feet okay. fairly close together. That's it, bend forward for me. Come around this side, it'll be a bit easier for you. And all this is going to do is measure your angle to work out your rotation of your, your hips and see how flexible you are there. So try and touch my toes. That's it, don't overstretch yourself. That's lovely. So Oz, what has the system recommended for me? The system's recommended a size L2, so I'm going to bring my colleague into it and he can explain a little bit more in depth and how we can go forward on the, uh, the selection of the saddles. For Brilliant. You. So Paul, Oz has just said that I need an L2 saddle. What does that mean exactly? So the L2 saddle is our size, okay? Our size we can then use to work out what style of saddle would best work for you. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is work out what type of riding you do. What style of riding or what type of bike do you ride? I've got a road bike. A road bike, drop yeah. handlebar road bike? Yeah. Okay, and are you riding regularly and yeah, reasonable distances? Yeah, three or four distances? times a week, 50 to 100 kilometers or so. Brilliant, okay. Yeah. Well, with that information, what we can start looking at is, is the range of Cello Italia saddles, because there, there are a lot of options, um, but essentially there are four main platforms that we can look at 
and work out which one would fit you best. If I lift this saddle down here, this is the Celitalia flight saddle. Uh, Celitalia have been doing a flight saddle for a number of years now. Um, it's been in the, in the marketplace and has always been a market leader. It's a very flat saddle. Mm -hmm. And being a flat saddle, it enables the rider to be able to move up and down the saddle when riding. So therefore, if you're in a dynamic riding position, you might find that you're forward or back on the saddle and it gives you that option. It's available in a long saddle or what is more common now and more popular is a boost option, which is a shorter saddle. Okay, so what's the, the advantages of a longer one over a short? Well, is it just boost, range of... Mm, the boost saddle, being the newer, newer to the marketplace, if you like, gives you the benefit. It's a bit shorter. It's about 20 to 40 mil shorter than your normal length saddle. Mm -hmm. Obviously, less saddle means less friction, so therefore can reduce build-up of heat, soreness, can be quite good from that point of view. But the main, in my opinion, the main benefit is it feels more stable when you're on the saddle okay. because you're not trying to locate yourself. You're in the right place from the get-go. So boost is a popular option now, but saddles do come in both depending on rider's preference. Okay, so you've got your flight saddle there. Um, they also do SLR saddle, okay. which again for a road bike is popular. SLR is about lightweight. So really they do it in three different rail materials, uh, manganese, titanium or carbon, obviously carbon being the lightest. Mm -hmm. But the saddle is reasonably flat, uh, comes in boost option or standard, um, and is about lightweight. So depending on what bike you have and what components you have, then weight can be an issue. Okay, I'm not overly fussed about the, the weight of the saddle. I'm not one of these weight weenies. I mean, you know, if you've got a... No, no, that's fine. <laughs> we all know our I, I, I'm, I'm kind of more concerned with how it's going to look. It's, it, okay. I'd like it to sort of fit in with the, the bike that I've got and be comfortable, obviously. This saddle then is, is quite a popular option and I use one myself on this bike here. This is the suspension link system on the SP01 saddle, which Saddle Italia do. Uh, it just gives more... Uh, sorry, not that way. Once it's on the frame and clamped, it just gives more compliance and therefore makes a more comfortable ride. So if you are doing a distance on a saddle, uh, on a bike, sorry, um, it will help with the road. It will take out some of that jarring that you okay. use. So it can be a quite a nice, comfortable option. And finally, the, the Nuva saddle um, is a waved saddle. So where we saw on the flight saddle it was very flat, this is more of a more waved uh, feature to a uh, profile to the saddle and what that enables is the rider to be more located when on the saddle so rather than sliding back and forth if you're more upright um, and have less rotation in your hips so that you tend to sit more upright and bend your back when you're on the bike this will keep you in place and therefore be more comfortable so the Nuvus is a waved saddle uh, for riders that are a little bit more static as opposed to dynamic with their hip position Okay, so now your L2 measurement, sorry, was you going to ask oh, a question? Well, no, I was just thinking, because I think I'm quite a, a bit of a slider. I move sort of backwards and forwards okay. a fair yeah, bit yeah. On, the, on the saddle. So, but, but you were going to say about the L2. What's well, the... I was, all I was going to say is any of those options are available in an L2 size. Right, okay. So and that's the beauty of ID match. It's, it's just basically how, how I'm going to sort of slide forwards and backwards on the saddle, essentially. Yeah, it's the type of riding and then it's the saddle that best suits your style of riding, right. therefore to make it more comfortable for you. So if we are moving on the saddle, um, and, and I think you know, a lot of riders do, I would either suggest a flight saddle, mm -hmm. okay, for the reasons explained, um, or possibly, although they're not as flat as the flight saddle, either the SLR or the SP01 saddle. Okay, and what's the, the, the idea with the big cutouts? and, and so the, 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 the number on the fit that we've done actually denotes the cutout size. So if it was a number one, the saddle would be completely filled in. Right. If it's a two or a three, obviously the cut in or cut out, <laughs> whatever we <laughs> want to call it, gets either bigger as you, as you go up the number. So two and three. Um, the reason they have a cutout, I suppose, is the important thing. And the reason they do it is because of your rotation in your hips. So if you're a static rider and you're more bending with your back as opposed to rotating your hips and you're in more upright position, you can have a filled in saddle a lot, a lot, um, without any problems. Mm -hmm. 
But if you've got more rotation in your hips and you're in a more dynamic riding position, then your pelvis is ro rotated forward and pressure builds up on parts of the body where you don't want yeah, pressure. Yeah. So the idea of having the cutout is that it frees that off. It does, the pressure doesn't build up and you can ride for longer and more comfortably. Okay, so it's just a question of... Picking a style that yeah. fits in with how you're describing and making sure we order it or have the right saddle in the size that we've been fitted. Okay, so... Um... You probably, I mean, it sounds like there's going to be millions and millions of saddles to kind of choose, or millions of combinations to choose from. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's I, th I think from the, what you're describing at the moment, that I would suggest either one of these two saddles kind of fits with the type of riding that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, flight is um, flight in a boost saddle, because rather than having the extra length, yep. would make sense. Um, but you could also have the option of, if you wanted more comfort, bit more um uh yeah i suppose comfort is the right word but it just a, it just takes that little bit of vibration away right. from the ride sometimes on um especially on a carbon frame um vibration from the road or an aluminium frame can travel you know, straight up the bike and into the rider so mm. if you're finding that that's a problem then by having a little bit of a bit more uh, help if you like in that area just it makes bike more comfortable okay i think from the sounds of it I, i'd like to go for the flight boost Light boost yeah, yeah that makes yeah. perfect sense from what you're describing mm. so essentially it's not this saddle um, this saddle is essentially the flight with a manganese rail okay does have the option of titanium and carbon rails but manganese rail in boost okay. yeah that's, that's the shorter isn't it the boost is the, the shorter, boost is the shorter okay yeah, yeah so what we can do is as I don't have it on the wall here today I can order the saddle for you to the size that we've already fitted to the model that we now know and have it delivered straight to you. Brilliant, that'd be fantastic. Sounds good, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. <laughs> no problem at yeah. all. Yeah, we can get that sorted out. Um, would you be calling into the store or did you want to deliver direct to uh, you? I'll have it delivered to, to my house. No I'll fit it myself. Well, as you can see, now I'm home. Uh, I've ordered the saddle and it should be with me in a couple of days' time. As you saw, the fitting process was very quick, very straightforward and very easy. Uh, and actually picking the saddle was slightly more complicated than I'd anticipated. But I had some very good advice there from Paul. So hopefully I've picked the right saddle. Now my understanding is that Celitalia also do uh, a kind of try out saddle system where you can try the saddles and if it doesn't work then you can order another one. Um, I've seen that online but I don't quite know how that works in reality. If you'd like to try the Cell Italia ID Match system yourself, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Uh, and on it, there is an interactive map. So you just put your location in and then it finds your nearest fitting centre. So you can go down and get yourself fitted. All I have to do now is wait for the saddle to turn up. I'll fit it on the Cannondale and then I'll go for a ride. Hopefully it will be a lot more comfortable than the one that's on there at the moment and potentially it will also stop the saddle saw issue that I'm having as well. I'll keep you updated as to how I get on and yeah, let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching.